busted ass knees, but that looks really bad. And it was really bad. Oh, you can't even see all of it, but it's pretty bad. I was running yesterday and I just tripped and fell. And I scratched my hip too. I got road rash like on my hip bone. Lindsay tripped on flat ground. <laughs> no, it wasn't flat. The sidewalk was raised at this one part. And I was just like <laughs> almost home running. I was just like in my head thinking about something. This was like the saddest part of it all. I was on this like wavelength of like self love. Like, look at me go, just running. You know, if I did that marathon forever ago, like I'm so awesome. And then boom. <laughs> I just feel like I spent so long thinking I wasn't awesome that now I'm like finally going the other way oh, yeah. and it's, it was pretty discouraging. That I Aggressive felt. Aggressive curb. Yeah. Came out of nowhere yeah. and just took out your hopes and dreams for good. <laughs> for good. <laughs> Not for good. But then for my body died. Found a dying. Found a dying. Yeah. Anyways, I survived. I didn't even cry, honestly. Yo, the song's called No More Tears to Cry. Oh! Cry. Yeah. I survived. I won't just lay down and down. <laughs> so I kind of have a lot of high hopes for the song because so many patrons wanted to hear it. Yeah, this is, was the most request on the poll in this past series of voting of requests. Big shouts Aaron, Sean, Kyler, Ben, Daryl, Julian, Clay, Vidya, Ethan, Mackison, Tim, Garrick, and Eddie. Thank you guys for being patrons, requesting songs for us to check out. Should we just get into her? We'll just jump right in. Yeah, why not? All man? right, let's do it. Whoa, doesn't that sound like retro? <laughs> yeah. I think it's time to recognize these demons in my head. They're killing me internally. I know they want me dead. Let's take the time to analyze and get this off my chest by digging up the skeletons to finally confess. Why? What the heck? Yeah, dude, that just came in like a ton of bricks. Oh that? my gosh. <laughs> I'm peeking the microphone. Sheesh. <laughs> no way, dude. Yeah, dude. Bullet went old school. They kind of did. This, they... this whole thing feels pretty old school, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Feels... In like the best way. I... Yo, I feel like we were we were going on in some of our reaction videos about yeah. like, yeah, it's okay, but it's not like, and then we remember we had the one video where we were like, it's yeah. not this. And then like, we were like singing and vibing out to their old stuff. Totally. Is and he's not doing that weird vocal thing either. Like he's just do using like his regular voice. I feel like this is this is like yeah. this is like that era of music. Yeah, like high school bullet. Not this riff right here, especially. Right. Yeah. And the chorus. This part's kind of cool. I remember one of my comments in one of our reaction videos was yeah. literally, Matt Tung's got one of the greatest voices in metal and he's just screaming. I want to hear the cleans. I know, yeah. And now we have acoustic verses. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm overanalyzing this. Let's back yeah, up right. a little. Let's just vibe. Let's, she also let's just feels so British in this, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, she's Welsh, whatever. But like the accent's really there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Is that so like 
like awesomely retro, <laughs> like you were saying. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Whoa, damn. That was actually so damn good. That was so bullet, it was so good. It was so like reminiscent of all the metal that I liked growing up. Yeah. Man. Literally nothing to complain about here. No, no more tears to cry, no complaints to lodge, nothing. There was this thing that happened when Machine Gun Kelly started dropping uh, like songs with Travis for tickets, where like all of a sudden there was like people who were against it because they were like, oh, it just sounds like Blink-182. And it's mm -hmm. like, well, yeah, the drummer from Blink-182 like co-wrote it, so. Makes sense. And then there's another thing that happened where everyone was kind of like upset that this old sound was being done by a new artist. Mm. And I remember like years prior leading up to that record being released, all I could think was like, I would go back and jam Blink. I would go back and jam Fallout. I would go back and jam like all these bands from all of this nostalgia mm -hmm. points, like when they were at their peaks, yeah. the whole generation just came out for those songs. And it was like, why don't they just, why don't bands just do this again? I know. I thought that so many times. Why don't they just do it again? Yeah. And then like tickets came out. It was like, finally. <laughs> well, like, if they're not going to do it. He's going to do it. Yeah, yeah. sick. <laughs> yeah. And it's not that those bands need to. It's just that somebody just like, I'll this whole generation that grew up listening to this stuff and is going back and listening to it somebody just writes something that sounds like this yeah and they did that and this kind of reminds me of that it's like i yeah. missed old like old tears sorry not tears <laughs> old bullet was like a vibe and now like they're just like here's old bullet thank you but in 2022 yeah sick i love it love it that was dope <laughs> i love it i see why all the patrons were stoked on this yeah totally yeah one of the things for me with a lot of the new bullet tracks was like what matt tuck was doing with his like vocal styles how he was doing like changing it up with like the whispery stuff or the like half screaming stuff or like instead of just full screams full sings which is what they were in their first few records like this is bringing that back totally yeah in best way yeah that was uh it was great and honestly when i clicked on this and i saw that like there was no music video there's no visualizer it's just this black album cover that like doesn't necessarily visually draw me in that much. I was like, I kind of wrote it off a little bit, you know. I kind of read a book by its cover. I was like, oh, I don't know about this. Is this gonna be that good? No, but that's the that's <laughs> the thing about it though. What? It's like if I type in if I type in Waking the Demon. Oh, they have a music video for that. Like uh, Forever and Always. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. So if I type this in, perfect. Perfect. So look, look, look what I get when I type yeah. in. It's like even they even thought about it to that. It's like, do we need a visualizer? No, we're doing what we used to do. Maybe going back to roots, or maybe like. <laughs> no way! I never even thought about it that way. Yeah. Do, yeah. Like, do we need a visualizer? <laughs> if the people want old bullet, no, because we don't we don't do that. No. Picture of the album cover. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's all I need. <laughs> That's all I need. It's thick. Fair it's point. like it's like you know it's thought out. I don't know. Yeah. Those are our thoughts, first impressions, reactions yeah. for the song Bullet for My Valentine, No More Tears to Cry. Yeah. What did you guys think? Let <laughs> us know down in the comments below, and we'll see you all very soon with something new.